have been nursing for about 43 years. Oh, what a day, what a day. And the last 15 years have been working with stroke patients. She's very determined and she gets the job done. I started off in NHS Tayside setting up the stroke unit in Nine Wells Hospital and we were looking at what happens after discharge from hospital and it was the fact that patients were saying to me, I'm going home, I'm scared. There was nothing for stroke patients and I just thought, hmm, maybe there is an opportunity here and a challenge and I set up the Stroke Liaison Service and that was 10 years ago. Really, we need to provide a lot of psychological support and reassurance. Just looking for ways to progress and listening to what the patients are saying that they need. Sometimes I would think, what am I doing here? You know, are we making a difference? But our patient feedback tells us that we are making a huge difference. Patients were saying, you know, we need an exercise group. So we set up an exercise group in Stocathro and it's been really successful. You get the reward when you see a patient walking around in the gym. It is amazing. We do exercise and we have some talks about how strokes are caused and how you can prevent them and that information is vitally important to us. She kind of gives you that moral support that you need to continue your improvement. The success of the class is down to Margaret starting it off and then not only that but developing it. I think without her it would never have happened in that way. She's done a tremendous amount for stroke patients in the Dundee area. I can remember a consultant who I had a lot of respect for saying to me, what a waste, why are you going to work with stroke? I mean, all you need to do is give them an aspirin and you can't do anything else for them. And that just summed it up for me. She is extremely passionate about what she does. She cares about every patient that comes in the class. She wants them to come to the class, wants them to prevent strokes, wants them to recover faster. And that comes across with the enthusiasm she shows to every patient her Majesty said to me, there's a lot being done about stroke now. And I said, yes, Your Majesty, but there's still a whole lot more to be done. I think I was probably more excited about this award than I was about my MBE, and that maybe sounds silly, but it's the fact that it's coming. I'm being awarded specifically for the stroke care that I've been delivering. I just absolutely love the job that I do now. It's so humbling sometimes to see how they want to fight to get back to some normality. I'm hoping to retire next year and I'm hoping that my team will be able to just carry on. I have had an amazing nursing career, but I will say that the last 15 years that I've worked with Stoke has been the most rewarding and the most satisfying. And I'm so glad that I'm ending my career, you know, on such a high really.